spend in a miserable way. Hello and welcome to episode 6 of me building a new city. Now starting off, if you are new to the series, just do know that I have a playlist on my YouTube channel on the series from episode 6 to episode 1. So do check that out if you do want to stay updated about the series. Now, about me building this building, uh, it's not going to be a place where a guest can go and it's just going to be a building that you just see. And it's going to be located in the new high street, which is going to be basically giving me more money. And I am going to try to delete my money form because I can't really expand much without it deleting, without it getting deleted. So this will be happening. So yeah, but I don't know how much money I'm going to earn because I have a lot of ridings there. And since it's not going to be in the city, I, I just pull tons of rides, but because this is a city, I have to make the rides uh, themed with the city, which is a big issue because if I don't get it right, uh, I can't really do it. So, which is a really big problem, and I can't think of a lot of rides that will really fit in with the city. But I do have a solution with this. Now, there are water rides in the game. And with water rides, you can get money from it, which because it's a type of ride, and guess basically pay for it. And I'll basically be trying to make a water park, an indoor water park, but it'll have to be quite big. So I might just add like maybe one, maybe just one like uh, ride in it, but it'll just basically disguise it in the city, and I could just basically just do that. So yeah, do for the commercial zone, which is uh, going to be the Neil High Street. Please do leave uh, leave ideas. So like, I've already made like a place called Starblocks in the city. So please like Starblocks, maybe like I don't know, Costa or something. I don't know. Please do uh, leave a comment on that. That'll be highly appreciated. Now about me. Continuing on with the city. The next video will be about me building a bank. So basically, we the bank of the new city. I am going a bit slow, but I'm speeding up now, so don't worry. So I don't know how I'm gonna build a bank because I have no ideas, but I'll just try to get like inspiration, and, like maybe other Roblox games and maybe real life banks. So maybe I just go out a bit in my local city slash town basically just try to find a bank and just observe it but uh yeah i'm not very good at building with like new ideas because i have tried to add like more buildings but it's majority of them except star blocks have gone wrong so yeah now about me building like all these shops they haven't been being that successful but I do hope in the future that they will be more successful and basically I can earn some more money. Now even though I already look I look pretty rich already, for the type of park I'm making and the amount of detail I try to add into my buildings, it is quite expensive for me. For example, my hotel, it cost about 70,000 uh, between parts of green money which wasn't cheap and it took me a few days to finish and it's my most detailed building and just imagine doing that for a whole park that would cost millions wouldn't it so i am trying to get as much money as possible for that so that is the reason why so i might try to since i am going to try to get some more money if i get more than i expect to I might try to add uh, more detail to my buildings so it might and it just basically will make the park in general just look nicer which i do want to happen so yeah now i am thinking if it's i have too much space but i'm gonna try to use as much space as possible as i possibly can maybe this is by uh, basically me trying to make the buildings bigger which I don't like because 
if I make the buildings too big, it stands out too much. So I like to build, make them small. So maybe I might not be able to do the water park that I've been thinking about trying to make it not stand out too much. Now, thinking back to it, uh, thinking back uh, about the new bridge, I might not be able to build it uh, my own way, so I might have to take someone else's video. Sorry about that. If you're really looking forward to me building uh, in my own, with my own ideas, but I still see don't know how to build a bridge, so uh, that big. So I will be trying to do that. Now, another thing I'm trying to do uh, is basically the metro drops uh, stops, which I have talked about earlier on in this video. So the metro stations, as any other metro stations, will connect to the whole entire city. So I will be planning to make that happen, but it might take a few months, I don't know. We'll just see, but I do hope that I'll be able to get this done by at least November or September. So yeah. Now, for the metro stops, for the second one, second station I'm trying to make is near east of course and it's going to be very close to near central and I'm basically going to do the same thing but you only have four stations instead of six which is in, in near central and then I'm going to try to connect it to a station called near bridge that's what I'm going to call it like, there's a station in London called London Bridge. I'm so still not trying to copy London at this point, but yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't want to use that as I can copy it. I am trying to be as much creative as possible. So, and then so on and so forth with the stations. And basically, it will run through also like some neighborhoods and all that. And maybe there'll be station for the park in the new city. But I have no idea on where to put the park. I might put it at the edge. I don't know. Because I just want it to fit in. So yeah. So moving on from that topic, I am thinking about making a government building. And the government building is basically gonna be like having a meeting room, which I'll be talking about and then you know, one just besides myself but you'll just be there and then on the top floor I'm gonna put like a pet house and this is basically where my room will be for the government building but I don't know where to put it I might I'm obviously gonna put it in the central area but I think well I really don't know where to put it so that's the issue but I do have some sort of idea, but I don't feel comfortable with it, but I'll see when I get to that point. Now, moving back to the building, which I haven't really been talking about. This is, I'm basically just finished the base of the building, and I'm just currently doing it to it. It isn't too special, but I seriously don't know what much to put here, so I'm just trying my best. So yeah, I just, I'm doing that. Now, I have tried to do it with this aesthetic, so a lot of neon lights with a few like wood, wood, um, what are they called? Wood poles, whatever they're called. And that. Uh, I have actually based this off a building in Tokyo. Uh, I just got it from an actual random video I was watching. The person was just walking around, and then I saw the building, and I was like, I could just recreate this right now. And as you can see, it will just kind of look like that. I was, I'm still trying to upgrade it, but yeah. Uh, and the aesthetic I'm now trying to go for is kind of Tokyo themed, but I don't think it's possible. But I'm trying my best. So we'll be trying to do that. Now, I haven't really tried like other cities like Seoul, or Shanghai or other Asian cities or American cities all those cities around the world because I feel like the Tokyo aesthetic kind of goes with the vibe I'm trying to make with the city so yeah I'm trying to do that now 
I'm trying to also make this more realistic so I might add like more vehicles and all that and lights maybe I try to do that so yeah that'll basically be happening later on so stay tuned for that now also I'm trying to also make a car company so it's even though I have all these cars there's gonna it's gonna come from like a few companies or even just one but the issue is I really don't know what to call them I might call it Showski I don't know I'll come to that point when I get there uh, but finally I've just finished my building and I'm just currently adding some lights and all that so yeah I'm really proud of actually how it came out even though uh, even though it was from something else which was from a random video I found on YouTube of a person walking around Tokyo I think it went really well and this kind of marks the end of me of my speedboard so I do thank you for watching and uh, we'll be going straight to the outro so thank you for watching and yeah I'll see you next time Thank you.